Ba-bum, 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 ba-da-dum, ba-dum, 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 ba Greetings and welcome back to Book of Shadows. We are starting off right where we left off in the last episode. We met up with Mitsuke and Fukuro as Morishige. And we came up to the third floor which is now open. And we stopped when we found this corpse. Now we are moving forward. Now I have one thing to say. Two episodes back in episode 13 where I started this chapter. I actually missed one name tag. Now I have added the name tag in my video, but I will say it here for those who have not seen the note in my previous video. The name tag can be found in the second wing, right next to the western... in the first floor, now right next to the western stairway, basically in between the stairway and boys restroom. In any case, the name tag is from Rubens Academy Senior High School or something and the name is Taketaika, age 17 and cause of death drank, con drank rainwater outside school building, died from sudden onset of abdominal cramps. And when I say that, it means that we already have each name tag from this episode, so the only thing we need is the endings. And now we continue on. So, this room is locked, but it's locked, and not with a key this time. It seems to be sort of a combination lock, six digits by all appearances. Getting this door open won't be an easy task. Now, the digits actually come from the glass lockbook, right here. Lock enough with the key to find. Getting the store won't be open. Won't be an easy task. Wait. I know the code. It's in the logbook in the second chapter where certain numbers and. Uh, are taken out. What the hell? Maybe I need to go to 3A first and then see that. Oh, I needed to go up here. Even though I already did that, but... I was of course a fool and didn't save my save, so... We are doing this again. Also, excuse me if my voice sounds rather low because I... <coughs> haven't had much opportunities to speak today. Also, the harmony between the music and my voice should now be better, because before, at certain points, the music would overlap my voice pretty badly. reference with this instant. There's no telling what to do. You want to die? No. Everyone needs the logbook. Can you even read? I can't read it on the place where I found it because I have it with me. Can I please just go up here? Let's see one thing. I should be able to read it somehow. I can't. Can I go now? Please? Open. There we go. First number is eight. The second number is two. The third number is four. The fourth number is three. Fifth number is two. And the sixth number is also two. There we go. Those are the numbers that were in the second part of the logbook in the disaster training day, like in 3A, it says, look carefully before you do anything. 
Bingo, the lock is now disengaged. Lock disengaged. Let us go inside. There is little of interest here. We can't search here, we can search here. The shelf is full of science books for young children, illustrated in encyclopedias, biographies of important people and other educational materials. Book ending in one particular gap. Book ending one particular gap on the shelf is a certain ceramic ornament depicting some kind of demon eating the left arm of a naked headless figure. It's actually an image that is fairly popular. You're gonna see it soon. ドラマクラブ。へえ。それはすごいね。すごい。でも、森重 the room fell into an awkward silence after that. I became acutely aware of my own poor disposition. Though I suppose I've never been very good at social interaction in the first place. I don't believe in wasting smiles on trivial things and I never quite learned how to lie, even to save face or keep from hurting someone's feelings. えっと、将来の進路はやはり演劇学校とかできれば留学して本格的に役者の勉強をしたいって思っているそのために貯金もしているし語学もへえすごいねああ、I'm having a nice cup of coffee while this goes on. ああ、俺たちと同い年なのに今から将来を具体的に考えてるんだな。評価してくれるのはありがたいが。こいつら本当に俺の話になんか興味があるのか。あんたばかりの他人のことに一気一憂できるなんて理解できないな。それとも俺が淡泊すぎるんだろうか。Yeah, perhaps you are just a little bit. そろそろ行かないか。ここにはその置物以外目立つものはなさそうだし。True, we really didn't need the lockbook anymore. The Goya sculpture, on the other hand, was practically calling my name. I reached for it, picked it up, and handed it to Mitsuki since he, she had the biggest bag out of any of us. She looked puzzled, but took it anyway. And there it is. Now we have the Goya statue. You might think, what the hell are you gonna do with that? Well, you actually need to try to go to the poolside next. Because there's an endless hallway which prevents you from going to the pool. And if you try to go, you're like stuck there and go back. Nothing happened. But with the Goya statues, there is a slight difference. It will help us proceed. Proceed. So let us go down and get to the two sides so we can go forward. I do not know why I speak with this accent since it is not my native accent. If I were to speak with my native accent. Um. I don't even know what that be. I'm just so used to speaking like this. Yep. 
Continuing down this hall may be dangerous, so of course we go. ね。なんか。確かに。もう随分歩いた気がするが。この校舎に。絶対変だよ。だってこんなに歩いたらもうとっくに建物の外に。暗くて角を曲がったのに気づかなかったのかも。how do you... how do you not... It's a straight hallway, you can't turn just a corner there. Indeed. And so we turned around. And saw nothing but an endless quarry of vanishing into in inky blackness. It was basically a mirror image of the trek we'd been making these past few minutes. Anything is possible in this school. And again, because there is no reason to panic in a situation like this, you just need to think logically. There we go. Before it would have just ended at that mataku. まずいに決まってるじゃないか。ちょっと見せてくれないか。いいけどどうしたの？破損した部分から何か見えている。あ、本当だ。なんだろう？像の中の骨組みじゃないか。no, it's not just that. <laughs> I know, one way to find out. As they say, sometimes the simple solution it really is the best. And if we wanted to see what was inside this thing, there was one surfire matter. And this is one of the scenes that I like to imagine in my head what it would look, look like in reality. Koya sculpture hit the ground with all the force I could muster and shattered into countless pieces. Like, oh, there's one way to find out. And he looks at Mitsuki and Fukuroi for a moment, then like, BAM! To the ground. I threw it on the ground. And there among the wreckage was a key made of copper. It looked old, but since it had been sealed away from the elements all this time, there wasn't a single trace of rust or corrosion on it. Where else would it belong to? Clearly, this was an important item to have found. Now aware that Mitsuki's bag was not of the safe not the safest place to store things, however I pocketed it myself. Now we have a key. A key which opens one of the doors in this place. This door being for a for a which was locked so let us go to 4a we will find an item which will help us proceed the classroom door is locked not for long it's locked up fine use the cover with a click the door unlocked Adventure 4 This 
looks familiar. Alcohol lamp. Alcohol lamp. Alcohol lamp. I hadn't noticed that at first, but Michiko was correct. There were small bloody handprints on the alcohol lamp. As if someone were frantically caressing it. Small enough that they most likely were made by a child or children. This wasn't something we could leave behind. It was a real stroke of luck that we stumbled upon something so inherently useful. Yes, the alcohol lamp will help us in each game, especially in Blood Drive. There's a jock picture drawn on the board. It shows a high school girl who was just run over by a steamroller. Ew. And at the helm of said steamroller is a young looking child with a big smile on her face. Oh, Satsuko, you are so funny. Nothing there, so let us see what this does. Some sort of mechanism with a lever attached to it. It does not move, and we're dark beginning at 40% now. However, with the alcohol lamp, we can now go there. Fast forward to this. First of all, I will say there is a reason for that, but I will disclose it later on. Because I don't quite remember where it was the point I need to actually say. Oh, uh, sorry. Light lamp. Because if we just leave a candle, the same thing happens as before. We are basically just walking in circles. Hi, Machi. Here we go. Now we have a light source that is that can vanquish the darkness. As the wick flared up, the whole hallway was bathed in warm blue glow. And somehow the darkness just seemed to shrink away from it, powerless against this unexpectedly capable opponent. And here comes the light warden to shed light into the darkness and show us the way to victory. And the new defeats. Now we can go to the locker room and sign. There's the hanged girl again. Actually, I'm gonna save again because we will scare the. That's my reasoning. Hope you like. It. Oh, no wait, that's the thing we read over. The Mr. God text. Bada beam, bada boom. I have read this already. I do not care anymore. Now, to the poolside, and here we will meet sort of the character we already have met, but only once. Emmy! Once. Yes, once. Emmy. Urabe! Oi! Urabe! Shikarishiro! Shikarishiro! Collapse on the ground was someone both of my companions clearly knew. She wore the same uniform as Yamamoto. Both Fukuroi and Yamamoto immediately ran to her side and began attempting to rouse and console her. Mm. <laughs> Slap. Frightened out of her mind, the now, con the now conscious schoolgirl slapped away Yamamoto's outstretched hand and shot to her feet. Mitsuki! What happened, Emi? Mitsuki! Look, Fukuroi! Why Emmy is being like this, we will find in chapter 7. So look forward to it. I can tell you that she has a really good reason to be like this. 
She darted her head around wildly, surveying her surroundings, quickly and frantically like a wide-eyed fawn who sensed a predator closing in. What on earth could have happened to her? Some hunk with a knife happened to her. It was as if her own paranoia had completely drowned out the sounds of her friends and classmates to such an extent that she didn't even notice them. She was also perceptibly shaking. A lot more than she would from the cold rain alone, and her teeth were chattering. Something had truly spooked her. いったい彼女は何を見たんだろう。徘徊する殺人鬼とでも接触したのか。俺も追うべきなんだろうが。そこまでするギリもないか。This yeah, and I think solo acts also benefit any anyone else who you were planning to company with. A company. Now we are here. song we heard in chapter 2, which Morishike hears over all the closed spaces, because love is so strong that it can reach you even in other dimensions. It's this hallway where he Mayu! Because it's right next to the nurse's office. And this is where Mayu would have died if we didn't tamper the timeline. Mayu! Look, there's a girl we're just bringing a lot of characters into this chapter, aren't we? No, it's not. <laughs> um, Chihaya and Nana. Although Nana is, of course, not here because she was with Yoshiki and Mayu. And now thinking about it, th these characters are like everywhere. All around the building. Like even, even worse than before. The one thing I do not know, however, is where is Miss Yui and where is Satoshi? But I think in this chapter they probably are together, or... I don't know. I do not know. Nana, というのは私の幼馴染みのあだ名。小笠原奈奈。小笠原奈奈。Nickname, Nana. Uh... Nice imagination used there for a nickname. さっきまで一緒にいたんだけど、廊下を歩いているうちにはぐれてしまった。同行者が一人いるんだけど、この子がまた実に頼りない。Like at all。待ってなりちゃん、足疲れた。これでもう何度目の泣き言だろう。<la
She was as spoiled as can be. I truly felt it wasn't possible for any human being to be more spoiled than Chihaya. But it's not like I could really leave her behind, you know? She'd be dead in no time flat, as helpless as she was. And again, I'm coughing because there's probably spiders in my throat again. あのね、雷なんてここでも外の世界でも珍しくないでしょ。あんた家でも学校でも雷鳴るたびに誰かに抱きついてるわけ。イエス。うん。ななちゃんがいる時は大体ななちゃんに私はななの代用品か。なりちゃん、怒ってる別に。とにかく行くよ。ナーナ探さなきゃ。あんたも代用品じゃなくて、早く本物に抱きつきたいでしょ。うん。否定しないのかよ。いや。こっちの校舎は向こうよりさらに重
it should be here. And if there's other corpses here... I am angry. Can't see the corpse here. Nor there, or anywhere. Gosh darn it. Maybe it's in the start. Whatever. Whatever. You know what the corpse is. And now you know that you can't get it in this part of the game. For reasons that remain unknown to me. Or then I... Then it's somewhere completely different than that side is just... Wrong. That is one possibility as well. Although I guess there will be one episode of this chapter still. Actually, I think there isn't anything in the music room. We need to go up here. We need to find the body of that one guy. Okay. Takutsi. Takutsi! We need to find her and fast! Or else we're gonna die! Ah! Here! Perhaps. Yes. The dark, gloomy corridor suddenly lay brightly for just a moment. Was it lightning? But we weren't near any windows and there was no thunder. We are here, we are close. What is this? There, glinting in the dim light, sat what appeared to be a component from some electronic device. In contrast with everything else in this school, it seemed like a fairly recent item, a decade old at most, but likely much newer. What do you think? I don't know, but I think it's a battery of the device. Might as well take it with us, I figured. Though if I gave it to Chihiro for a safekeeping, it would no doubt wind up on the ground again somewhere, so I decided I'd just pocket the thing. We have it with us now. And here, I think, is where we need to go. It is not here. I am Gotham. Gotham. Gundam. Or the reference from his frozen place, but it's just a decoration of the wall, it will not punch. It will not spot just the slightest bit. Perhaps here? Okay, it's just... I'm figuring out that the corpse without the head isn't here either. Yep, it's not here, so it's just the fact that I'm in this part of the school. Right. So, Taketaika is indeed where it's supposed to be, which is right here, somewhere in here. I recall it being like here or here, but I might be horribly wrong as I am many times before. Now the gap, which was here earlier, has something new added to it. On the other side of the hall, there was now a man collapsed on the ground. I couldn't see any obvious wounds on him, but he wasn't moving at all. It was hard to ask certain details in this dim light, but he seemed a bit too big to be a middle schooler or a high schooler, and he wasn't weary, wearing a uniform. Wearing. Still no response. Yeah, to throw random objects at her. Him, not her. First of all, we are gonna save. Because I do not know if there is a another... This is the part where I need to save. 
It was a fairly expensive looking DV camcorder. And a well-worn one at that, with dings and chips all over it. Nonetheless, it looked like it probably still worked. マヤ。さっき俺は確かにお前の声を聞いた。会いたいって言ってたよな。無事なのか。怪我はしてないか。怖くはないか。寂しくは。ロンリー。くそ。あ、タグチさんは何やってんだ。遅いな。何が情報交換だよ。そんなことしてる暇があったら、俺は眉を。くそ。くそ。なんでこんなことに。ああ。眉。他のやつらはどうでもいいから。せめてお前だけは。of course, only my you. <coughs> and now, like, what are you looking at? This is the part, part. This is the part where Morishike starts to get a little bit crazy. In my agitated state, I kicked a pair of hallway slippers that was sitting on the ground nearby, and they flew right into the dead girl's face. Shinin <laughs> Right. Calm down, man. I grabbed her jaw and began shaking it around and was a bit startled by the sensation. It felt just like I was touching living flesh. I wonder why. Except this person was very, very cold, cold as a statue, a statue covered in skin and muscle, but a statue nonetheless. <laughs> Getting a little crazy there. Huh? What happened? I can't answer. A few days ago, you were able to answer me. You were able to get me back to my own side. Hmm, I'm sorry. Eh, oh, Kaida Arisa. Pity. レセになれ。こんなことしても眉は見つからないぞ。大事。この子は何の罪もない被害者じゃないか。うん。いや、there a thought that I'm sure gets you a boner, Morishige. Especially listening to how you say it. Toire no benki yori mo hidoi akushi u furimaki nagara. Hara watamo, kou mo, kuchi no naka mo, ujimushi no esa ni natte maun da. <laughs> right. So that reminds me. So that. Kirena Kimi no sugata o noko shite o ite yaru yo. I flip my cell phone back on and switch it to camera mode, centering the lens on the lovely Miss Kaida. Her slashed and broken gaze was focused ahead of her at the downward facing angle. Yet in contrast to these injuries, she wore a peaceful expression on her face. Almost as if she were posing for me, just waiting for me to hit that shutter button. Hmm. 
アンダルシアの犬って映画を知ってるかい今の君にぴったりだよ<笑>もう一枚いいかな Go ahead. <笑>ひょっとしたら君は生きてた時よりも今の方が魅力的かもしれないうんそんな気がするよだってほらこの硬直した方のラインなんかあーあ失礼かもしれないけどエロティックだこの手首の傷も No! No! You stop this necrophilia! Stop it! I tried poking her wound with my finger and heard a moist squishy sound as my fingertip was swallowed up. Right! She'd gone cold, but I guess there was still some blood left in her. Either that or the thing composition was already well underway. I pushed farther in, digging my finger through the gaps between her muscles until it struck something smooth and hard. Mm -hmm. このぬめりけと冷たさ、奥に秘めた真の強さ。This is getting really creepy. だよ。Really creepy, really, really, really creepy and uncomfortable. As I drew my face into her forehead, a few particles of perfume scented the foul odor of sweat and sebum. What? Sebum. Is that that had here heretofore been assaulting my nostrils? Coco ni toshi come rarete, look ni kami mo arae na katta ro ni. Midashi nami o wasere nai nante, keda keda ne. Demo, kimi ni wa kono shishu to chi no kaori no hou ga niatte. No. <laughs> yeah, let's go away from that scene. That was creepy and not er 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 not erotic at all. What was I doing? A photo of a dead body. But in such a situation, it was a waste of stress. It was a waste of stress. Listen, Super. God damn it, Morishige. So, tamatama da, tamatama koko ni shitai ga atta kara. Ore wa. So the first instinct you had was to take a picture and comment on how erotic the corpse was. Wow, man, wow. So you ba, Taguchi san ga kaisas ni teishu suru tami ni. ここの死体を取ってるとか言ってたなとっくに約束の1時間は過ぎてるだろうしそろそろ田口さんを探してみるかもしかしたら田口さんが眉を見つけて同行してるかもしれないしここにいても始まらない Go get away from the bodies Amidst the darkness of the corridors, I spotted human figures, living ones this time. Two of them. There's Nari and there's Jihaya. Hi! Both female and both much younger than I. I approached them without making a noise or saying a single word to announce myself. That's not something you do to a 13 year old. Girl, especially. Junior high, I'd, I'd guess, maybe 12 or 13 years old. Yes, nice question. One was clearly much more fear-prone than the others as she wrapped herself around her companion's arm and was actively trying to hide behind her. Excuse me while I yawn. She was looking in my general direction, but... Direction. Direction or direction. One direction only. There is no direction. But with the lighting... As dim as it was, I had no idea whether or not she could see me. And while finding survivors in this land of the dead was a rare occurrence indeed, my focus was squarely on the man sprawled out farther down the hall. 
he was unconscious, possibly worse, and an uncrossable gap separated us. But I definitely recognized him. It was Takuchi. Yep. Uh, there we go. Uh, no. <sighs> I'm just gonna come over here and be like, <sighs> <sighs> Is that a body over there? I would like to take a look, if you don't mind. Takuchi-san. Was I concerned about him? Did I feel for him? Honestly, no. I felt nothing whatsoever at that moment. I was simply asking because I was curious. I'd normally calm I'm normally calm and stoic. Sure, but this seemed cold even by my standards. Did I really not care one way or another if he were dead? The girl handed me a beat up DV camera. No doubt about it, this was the same one Takuchi had been looking into when I met him earlier. I took it without a word and immediately tried to turn it on, but to no avail. It had no power. Battery is broken. It's not used to be used. Battery is broken, so I put it on. Use it. I placed the battery back in the TV camera and immediately saw the red power light pop on. Still fully functional by all appearances. Let's go. <笑>君たちはここで何してるんだい。え、えっと。友達を探しているんです。小笠原奈々と霧神光っていう。ボートウェイ。久しぶりに女子中学の同級生なんですけど。それから後頭部の先輩たちも。Oh yeah, I forgot that <laughs> thing with the time dilation between dimensions, so... Nana and Mayu might be still alive in the other dimension, but in this one... Mayu's body is already in the nurse's office. That's just how it goes, man. But Hikari is dead, yes. Her... we found her fingers. そうか。中学生か。リトル。Except <laughs> that Yuka is even more of a whiner. え何の話ですかあなたは高校生ですよね。俺も人を探してるんだ。鈴本真由っていうか。君たち、見なかったかい？あの、それよりまず名乗るのが礼儀だと思うんですけど。ああ、すまない。俺は森重作太郎、木更木学園の2年だ。それでさっきの話だけど、マユを知らないかい？この写真の子なんだけど。and no, they haven't. I flipped over my student ID to its photo page, almost as if I were a sheriff flashing my badge. But the response from these two were not encouraging. They exchanged a quick glance with one another, then shook their heads. I rewound the tape a bit and put the camera in playback mode. Immediately horrifying imagery began displaying on the device's tiny LCD screen. Audio was irrelevant. It seemed like the only sounds on the tape were those of Takuchi's racket breathing and footstep and his occasional self-mutterings. 90% of the voice footage... No, voice. Of the video footage <coughs> then consisted of dead bodies while the remaining 10 was mostly just camera autofocusing in the dim light. Its body was shot from a variety of angles, so their causes of death could e be easily determined. Guess he really was planning on showing this to the police. Yeah. Morishige, someone over here is trying to do 
an honorable thing while you are just fapping the pictures of dead bodies. Not good, man. The two nosy girls were peeking in on the videos content over my shoulder, and neither seemed certain quite how to react. Contain your rage and erections in presence of underage girls, man. Maybe because Takuchi is not trying to do the same thing as you. You got them weirdo. どうしたんだい? Like you're having a grand old time. Well, he is. Hendana. Rather odd, isn't it? あの、私たち。もう。行く。どこへ。友達探してる途中なんで。Go。Get away from this man. Quickly。いいです。私たちだけで頑張りますから。さよなら。Goodbye。さよなら。Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I like to think that Morishike laughed at the fact how fast Nari actually moonwalked out of here. まあいい。誤解を解くのも面倒だ。それに、なかなか面白い反応だったしな。This <laughs> Like before, you were fascinated with Yuka's reaction when he she ran away from you because you were a creep. You creep. Camera, I'll put it on. This is Taguchi's eye. If you look at someone's eyes, they don't even feel the same emotion. Hmm. 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 Hmm.俺は俺だけのコレクションが欲しい。いや、死者を自分のものにしたいのか。マイン。あ、待て。何を考えている？いや、俺は眉を探してるんだぞ。You そう。眉を探すための手段でしかない。目的と手段を履き違えちゃダメだ。Yes。だが、もっと見たい。Morishige is the spot where I need to save. Actually, actually, I wonder if I should stop here. Um, no, let's just do it a little bit more.
Oh, Takuchi is completely motionless, sorry. <laughs> it's impossible to tell from here if he's dead, though, or simply unconscious. Another quick guess. There we go. And that didn't last long. After praising myself for an indeterminate amount of time, the earthquake finally subsided. And now... We move on here. There's a candle shimmering here, along with a note. Whatever you do, don't look behind you! What happens if I do? Ooh, that's quite a choice there, man. In fact, it's such an important choice that I think I will save here, in a new spot, and... In the next episode, we're gonna see what happens if we look back or don't look back. So, well, this was not actually an hour episode, so I apologize. But in the next one, we will <coughs> end this chapter. So, I would like the next one to actually end as we have completed chapter 5. So, this one will be a bit shorter and so will the next one. But at least it does not mess up my schedule with this video. But in any case, enough about me rambling. Time to end this. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.